market. From the Fox 12 investigators, a stunning discovery under the St. John's Bridge. We found an elaborate illegal skate park is being built there. Let's get right to Fox 12's Haley Rush. She's live near the bridge with the very latest. Haley. Well, Pete, a viewer first reached out to us saying they noticed more graffiti under the St. John's Bridge. When they went down there, they found much more. So did we. Take a look. Graffiti marks the spot under the St. John's Bridge where you'll find this. A half-built illegal skate park. Buckets lying around, tools, and even unused concrete mix prove the work here is not done. And the writing on the walls saying no social media prove it's a secret whoever built this never wanted out. It's ridiculous. Come on. Ridiculous is how people described the do-it-yourself skate park to us when we showed them a picture. But Don Hamilton, spokesperson for the Oregon Department of Transportation, has another word in mind, dangerous. There's a lot of unsafe conditions going on over here. Hamilton says the skate park is actually being built in the bridge's cable house. This is part of the main structure that holds the St. John's Bridge in place. This has been there since 1931. It's been there a long time. We can't do anything that upsets the basic tension of the bridge in there. And he says pouring a couple hundred pounds of concrete is one way to potentially upset it. It is uh, uh, putting on some unstable weights that we don't really know the impact of in there. Hamilton assured us they don't see an immediate threat to the bridge right now, but he says this is something they'll need to take care of sooner rather than later. This sign has already been posted by ODOT asking for all personal belongings to be removed from the area. This is a work in progress right now. A work in progress that people in St. John's want to see gone. It's not a good look. But you can't build it here. This is not just the wild, wild Carson City, Virginia City bonanza. We have building codes and standards. I'm told ODOT does have, have an idea of the person behind the park and has spoken to them in person as well, telling them not to come back. I also, last time we went over there, it did seem a lot of the personal belongings were gone, including the bags of concrete. Since then, ODOT tells me they have put a temporary fence around the area, but they say, unfortunately, it has been cut. They say they do plan to actually remove the concrete that was put down when workload allows. Reporting live in St. John's, Haley Rush, Fox 12, Oregon.